Kanye West is one of the most confusing men I have ever seen or heard in my life. <laughs> the link for this article will be in the description. So, according to Fox News, Kanye West tells the Letterman public completely bullied by media to think certain things. Now, um, Kanye West blasted the media during his interview with David Letterman that aired on Netflix on Friday night, claiming America's Americans are cl completely bullied by the press to think certain things. Uh, during the discussion on Letterman's show, which is titled, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, West also spoke about his bipolar personality disorder, describing his condition as akin to having a strained brain, adding, we're all dealing with mental health. We're pushed into it. We're driven crazy. West said, we forget who we are. We're driven to like a certain type of career that we're supposed to. We're like completely bullied by the media, both celebrities and the masses to think certain things and have group thoughts. So Trump praises Kanye West's words at the White House saying that was quite something. So Kanye continued on saying like, oh yeah, damn, right, we're going crazy. I'm the most famous person with bipolar personality disorder and I've only experienced it for two years. <laughs> what about people that's been experiencing this since they were two? Let's stop him right there. Now, uh, a lot of people know that you, you normally uh, find out that you're bipolar when you're a kid. It's very rare that a, a man that's in his third, late 30s realizes that he has a bipolar tendency. So Kanye West is saying that he just realized he was bipolar. I'm going to continue on. Uh, what about people that's been experiencing this since they were two? The rapper Superstar also weighed in on the Me Too movement <clears throat> against sexual misconduct claiming there was a fear of having an honest discussion about the topic. That part of the conversation quickly pivoted into politics and his support for President Trump. If you're scared to voice and saying, I got an opinion that might not be of the crowd, West continued, we don't have to feel the same way about things. This is my thing with Trump. We don't have to feel the same way, but we have the right to feel what we feel, and we have the right to have a conversation, a dialogue, not a diatribe about it. West said several people he works with also voted for Trump, but said they were scared for life to tell anyone. And Letterman asked him this question, did you vote for Trump? Kanye West said, no, I never voted in my life. You mean to tell me that Kanye West is just kissing Trump's ass Wearing a MAGA hat, um, becoming the complete opposite of what he used to be, and he never voted in his life, that's complete bullshit. Why would you support a president that you didn't even vote to get in the office? This man has some real mental issues. It seemed like he's brainwashed. Truly, they have done something to him. Somebody put him, I think when he, um, the Illuminati, the secret society, I think they did something to this man when uh, he had that breakdown, when he started telling on Jay-Z and Beyonce, because none of the stuff he says ever makes sense. It just don't make sense. So uh, Letterman continued on and said, then you don't have a say in this. The Grammy-winning artist later told the former Late Show host that Trump voters are being treated like enemies of America. Have you ever beaten, <clears throat> ever been beaten up in high school for wearing the wrong hat? Wes asked Letterman. Liberals bully people who are Trump supporters. It's not just calm. You can't just go and wear the hat. Wes 41 rocked the entertainment and political worlds when he took to Twitter wearing a MAGA hat. Then last October, he met Trump in the Oval Office. So, I mean, the obvious is, Kanye, we all know that Donald Trump is a racist. He, you know, he has a thing against the Mexican people. He wants to build a wall. We all know he's for the rich people. He don't care about poor people. Um, the list goes on and on. 
And you clearly were the first person we ever heard say uh, George Bush Jr. don't care about black people. That guy and the guy that I'm looking at in this picture is, are like night and day. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. You know, we know they did something to you, bro. They did something to this guy, man. And it's like his wife is more like his handler. I think she's there just to make sure he carries out with the plan that they set for him to do. She's there doing, she's calling all the shots. This man don't have a say so in his life no more, I don't think. If this even is Kanye West, we look at that. I don't know what this is, but oh boy. Like this video, leave your comments, share it on social media, and subscribe later.